I want to show you how to beat the boss at the Cathedral of Light so you can get Nightmare Difficulty or World Tier 3 unlocked. So this guy's kind of hard to beat, especially if you're doing this solo. It depends on what class you are, really. If you're a class like a Barbarian, it's going to be way harder because getting close to him is very dangerous. So he starts off slow. He takes a moment to get up. So that's like your ultimate opportunity there to just spam him at the beginning, get a big burst right out of the gate just to save you some effort. Um, you're going to want to conserve your potions because it's going to be kind of a long fight. And the biggest things with him is he will throw out skulls at you. And that's mainly just to whittle you down. He's just trying to whittle you down with that slowly. And you can dodge them. They're homing, but they don't arc very well. So you can kind of run back past them. And that's like a way to get around them. And then he'll also summon a bunch of skeletons. Generally, you can just ignore them and run around a circle the outside of the arena. And they'll usually not hit you very much. But sometimes he'll force you into them. And the other thing is... He has an ability where he slams the ground and I think it was three or five lines oh of, or four lines, whatever it was, of this like spectral attack come out at you. And this one's literally uh, the uh, way that he'll kill you. This is literally the entire boss fight. This is one ability. And obviously you're going to have to walk between the lines. But the problem with this one is, A, it's really hard to see the lines as they, they like fade in and they're similar color to the ground which is that's really just what makes it hard is just like the color difference. And then the other thing is even in stage one, he can do it. It's kind of rare. It gets more common later on, but every now and then he'll do this thing where he disappears and then he'll teleport in and he'll slam the ground like that and then teleport in from another side and slam the ground and then teleport from another side and slam the ground. That's how you lose this fight. That one attack is literally how you lose this fight. And the only way to even have a chance to do this, there's a few different ways. First off, if your class has any invulnerability abilities or anything like that, you want to save them for that. If you have any dash abilities, like the sorceress's uh, lightning ability to like dash, you're going to want to save that for that, like as much as you can. Because uh, if you have all your cooldowns gone, then you're going to have to eyeball it, which is very, very hard to do in time. And also because sometimes he'll, he'll literally teleport in like point blank on you basically. And then he's just like, okay, you're almost like dead no matter what. Because it's hard to gauge where to go. But the main thing is uh, whatever side he just teleported in from, he'll generally not teleport to that side again. So he came in from the right the first time. As soon as that attack's done, you want to run to the right. Because that gives you the best chance of getting some distance from him right afterwards. But what makes it so hard is like his previous attack kind of just hangs out while he does his next one and the colors all blur together and it's like an epileptic color seizure and it's like impossible to see what's going on so you kind of got to do your best there so try to run where the first one came from and that'll give you some distance to maybe have some time to judge where to go and then after that one try to run where the second one came from and then that'll give you a little bit more distance you have a little bit more time to judge where it is but you got to eyeball it skill it or just use invulnerability ability and stuff like that or just eat it sometimes depending on how it goes uh, so that's really what the boss fight's all about. And then once you get to phase two, he starts getting more aggressive. He'll start spitting out more skulls more often. Uh, he'll just start being more aggressive, but not too bad. And I think it's in phase two, he starts doing this extra attack where he like brings, he summons these uh, bones. They're like spines. And he'll put them in different patterns each time. And they're not dangerous. You can blow them up, although it's dangerous to blow them up because standing still for too long is a good way to get just swarmed by the skulls and not be able to get enough distance from them, get hit by a bunch of them, uh, and then we'll get whittled down. But the main thing is you don't really have to worry about him too much because when he goes to explode them, uh, if you can see him, he has an animation for it. But more importantly, they'll start glowing, and you kind of can just expect it. He just does it after like 20 to 30 seconds, maybe a minute or something. I think it's like 30 seconds. Uh, he'll just explode them. And so all you got to do is run to the very edge of the map and just get some distance from those spines. And generally, no matter what pattern it is, you can get enough distance or get between them in a way to where they won't hit you. And then you're good to go, basically. And then, uh, yeah, phase three, it's just more skulls. And he's going to just keep throwing out the spines. He's going to just throw... It's just mainly the skulls get more aggressive and he just does the spine attack more often. And that's about it, really. Uh, the melee attacks, he just swings at you. It's kind of hard to run around a circle around him. It's kind of hard to evade through him during them, even. Uh, so, bar I feel like Barbarian kind of gets, like, shafted the hardest on this. Because it's the hardest to fight him in melee range. Uh, because he just, I don't know, he just has a lot he can do to you. The skulls are harder to deal with melee range. Like, I don't know. But maybe, maybe there's a way you stay melee range. He just suddenly is easy if you do it a certain way of finessing it. But, um, but yeah. That's generally him in a nutshell. Again, it's, it's just that thing where he triple slams the ground, and that's everything. Save your abilities for it. Try to run at him right after each one to, in order to make it so you're a little bit further away each time, so you have a little more time to judge it. And hopefully with all these tips, you'll be able to beat the boss of the Cathedral of Light in Diablo 4.